cockpit commands are verbally activated and they're coded to the operator's voice print pattern. So, all right, listen up, Marines. Time for your next briefing. Stu Carter here from Atomani.com, and today we're going to talk about the M6 Amplified Mobility Suit, or AMP Suit for short. The AMP Suit is designed to turn a typical RDA trooper into a one man weapon of mass destruction. We're going to break it down for you, show how you show you how this weapon is assembled and maintained and the capabilities. So stand by for a new toy review. Now here's a look at the shipping container for the amp suit. It says collectible vehicle. This is by Mattel. Features a missile launcher, highly articulated. Works with both three and three quarter inch RDA figures. That's the soldiers. Probably not with the Navi because they're a lot bigger and they shouldn't be driving one of these anyway. And figures are sold separately. A figure is not included in this amp suit, and it shouldn't be because he'd die in transit. It takes months to get these over here to us. The amp suit is unassembled. We've got to put it together in the field, and we're going to be doing that. Also includes one amp suit eye tag card, which you can use to play uh, online at the website and bring up a 3D uh, hologram of the amp suit there. Look at the back of the, of the shipping container here. You get a good look at the amp suit with a figure inside. Remember, a figure is not included. And uh, you get some data, basic data on the amp suit, some information on the Avatar movie, and a picture of some of the other action figures that you can get uh, that would work with this. So stand by, we'll open her up. Now when you open up the shipping container, you'll see that the amp suit is delivered, unassembled in pieces, uh, uh, several sub-assemblies. Uh, they are hermetically sealed so they won't rust in transit because sometimes uh, these are containers uh, waiting for deployments for even months, years even. We're going to take these out and assemble them for you. Here's the eye tag that comes with it. Uh, that's the amp suit eye tag. Okay, here's the sub-assemblies of the amp suit laid out for you for field assembly. Now, of course, they have to expect a typical RDA trooper to be able to assemble these themselves. So they've provided directions with lots of pictures because most RDA troopers aren't very smart, okay? <laughs> After all, they did join, didn't they? So hang on, you're gonna watch me uh, put this together. We're gonna do it in fast motion for you, so stand by. All right, well, there's your assembled amp suit. Uh, I elected to uh, not follow the instructions exactly. Uh, I pushed the legs on the lower fuselage part first and pushed the arms onto the upper fuselage part first, second, uh, because I was afraid I'd have to push them kind of hard. I didn't want to do that after they had already been assembled together. But I didn't have any significant problems. Uh, I also deviated uh, with this uh, chain gun, this belt filled ammo. Uh, I elected to feed the ammo through the top of the chain gun and set it to the side, uh, like the instructions said. Uh, also, it's probably a good idea to flex the joints on these. The joints are shipped to you. They're pretty stiff uh, right out of the box. So I went and I flexed the joints ahead of time. And I'll show you uh, the parts that move. These feet will move like this, and they'll flex here kind of at the knee and then at the hips. And they kind of have a locking hip action, which is going to help them stand up, I'm sure. Uh, that, that helps make this figure stand up. Now here at the shoulder, more or less, the shoulder will, with some difficulty, turn. I wouldn't do this very much. Uh, in and out, also, that's easier. That's an easier joint. Uh, and at the elbow, uh, it will rotate at the elbow, and this hand will turn as well. Uh, on the right side, again, this uh, uh, shoulder was a little bit easier for me to rotate, and uh, does not. Uh, it will rotate at. It will rotate at the elbow. Uh, but it will not flex up and down on the elbow. However, this arm, this hand, uh, wrist will turn. Uh, after I put the chain gun on, uh, the uh, grip of the wrist, uh, the, the hand grip got a little loose on me, and I may have to put something in there to keep him holding that gun level. We wanted a good steady hold on that. Uh, the cockpit hatch will open up so your driver, your pilot can get in there and ride. Uh, I don't have an RDA action figure uh, to put in here, but we'll try it with an avatar, uh, with a Navi avatar. He's not supposed to drive, and let's see, yeah, say he's too big. 
He's too tall. He's seven feet tall. Now I do have uh, a Kevin. Uh, I, I do have Ben Tennyson. We'll see if he can get in there and drive. Drive it. Come on and get in there, Ben. There's a lot of leg room in the bottom. There's only so much head space. Yeah, he's in there. He can drive. There he is. There's Ben Tennyson. Now let's run down some of the capabilities of the amp suit. This uh, weapon functions as a hydraulic armored weapons platform for military and civilian operations in hostile and toxic environments. Also known as the Iron Lady, it's 13 feet in height, six feet wide. Features a global positioning system or GPS for navigation. Cockpit commands are verbally activated and they're coded to the operator's voice print pattern. So that helps uh, in case these fall into enemy hands, they shouldn't be able to be used. Uh, they have thermal imaging display screens, which means you can fight at night or in poor weather because uh, heat, thermal imaging means you can see body heat from the enemy coming at you. Weaponly includes the hip mounted and detachable GRU 90 30 millimeter cannon. It has an optional flamethrower and a slashing blade knife. Oh yeah, I haven't shown that to you. It's right down here. Pull it out and see there's a little knife and it'll go into his hand here, I guess. You know, put it here. I don't know why you would need to fight with a knife. In case maybe you need to cut some rope or something. Yeah. So that's the amp suit. Stand by, we'll show you some uh, still photos. And if you want to tag along, uh, do a, uh, a video reply. You're welcome to if it's on topic. And uh, stand by for more toy review videos. You might want to subscribe to the channel so that you'll have immediate information on the latest in our toy review briefings. Right then, any questions? No? Then dismissed. Let's go get some chow.